Coach, before we jump into this week's video, I had to show you some of the updates we've made to flag football with CoachD.com. Again, I've told you from the very beginning, I'm here to give you everything you need to crush it as a complete coach. So make sure you subscribe here or here, even down below here to get 10% off everything I offer instantly. So let's go over some of the most popular things that coaches are looking for. First, it's playbooks. Uh, the most popular is called the Complete Coach Package. It gives you over 200 plays. It's right here. Um, most of them are age-based and it'll tell you exactly which 24 plays to use for that age group. You get practices, you get drills, you get templates, everything you need. I would grab that for sure. Now, if you're looking for wristbands as well, then get the plug and play bundle. That one gives you the complete coach package plus 10 wristbands. Some coaches have said to me, hey, I want situational plays. I'm in the red zone or I'm getting blitzed all the time. I need pass or run plays. Those play bundles are right here. Um, let me scroll down and show you how to use this website. If you're five on five, you click here. Six on six is here. Seven on seven is here. Um, the equipment, you can find my clipboard, which I use all the time. The cones, the agility ladder, all of that can be found right here. The play builder is if you want to customize your own playbook. You can import all of my plays that you purchase and then mix and match, customize them, then print them for wristbands, one per page, four per page, etc. You can find the details there. And then recently I've opened this up. I'd love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I do it all the time now with coaches going over strategy, rotation, different plays, etc. We can meet for 30 minutes, an hour. It's totally up to you. But again, giving you everything you need to absolutely crush it as a complete coach. Now let's jump into this week's video. Hey coach, I'm super excited to show you some of our new features in the Play Builder. We have hundreds of coaches using it every single day and uh, we always have requests for this feature or that and we've listened. Now, if you don't have access, make sure you go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com, click on Complete Coach Play Builder and you can get an access plan here. It's a monthly subscription or you can go six months or you can go with the annual plan and you get it all year long. The great thing about this entire program is any plays that you've ever purchased from me, the complete coach package, play bundles, etc., those get put in, imported into your account so it will look like this. So you'll actually have playbooks in your account and now you can mix, you can match, you can customize and build your own playbook. So let's dive in, show you some of the cool new features. Uh, earlier I was playing around with it, but if you wanted to create your own playbook, which is what you want to do, you could do it here, right? Broncos. Uh, as you saw, mid and and you know midwinter 23, you know five v five, six v six offense, whatever it is, that's what you want to do first. So I'm going to go to my test here, and when you open up your playbook, you probably won't have anything in it. So what you want to do is you want to go to your other playbooks that I've created for you, and then you want to copy them into your own playbook. Let me show you how I added these in here. So let's say I'd go to, let's say I'm going fourth grade. For now, we're just going to test out 5v5, but you have 6v6, 7v7, right? And let's say I wanted to just take a few plays from a couple of different playbooks. All I do is I find a play that I like, okay? I'm going to, I like to, um, so I don't have to type it twice. I like to copy the name of it. I copy, so I hit copy. Now I'm going to find my test playbook or my new playbook. You obviously won't have as many as I do. I'm gonna paste this here, that's the name of the play. And then this is gonna be a run play, but you could make it a pass, obviously, run pass option, but this one is a run play. So that's how I take plays from any other playbook and now I add it into my own playbook so I can customize it, edit it, change it, etc. So let's go back to my test one, two, three. So now this is the playbook that I'm working with, right? And the playbook that, or the play that I just added in is right here. So let's say I wanted to edit it. When I edit it, it automatically shows up. I can move things around. 
right? I can change this direction here. I want it to go another direction, but let's say I wanted to leave it as is. Here's a new feature that, that I've heard about a lot. The ability to change the character or the player names. So instead of this being B, instead of this being A, F, C, T, etc., you can change it now. Here's how you do it. Let's say I wanted to change this B to an X. All I would do is go to players and I would find this star and I would add this in here. I'm going to get rid of this. I just select it and then I hit delete or if you know your computer has a different way to hit delete, uh, that's it. I pop this in its place and I double click on any new player that I put in there. Now I put an X in there and it shows up just like that. I can do the same with C. Let's say that was going to be a Y instead. I change this. I just put in the same exact thing. No big deal. And now I've got this as Y. There you go. So you could change them all day long, uh, all across your playbook. That is a new feature. Awesome. Another cool feature that I love right now is our text box. Uh, we've been wanting it for a long time, but now I put my text box in. Let's say I wanted to, to tell the play, you know, the, the players exactly what uh, it's supposed to happen. Uh, so, you know, give to X, X fakes to A, right? However you want to do it, you can put it in your own language. You can stretch this. You can move this around wherever you want it, right? And then when you save it, it will show up right on the play. So I love that. Love being able to add text in there. Uh, now when I'm either using wristbands, they can actually see the text, yes. Uh, another thing is uh, if I'm doing four per page, right? If I've got something like one per page, it comes up really nice. If I've got four per page, it comes up really nice. Just if I'm in the huddle and, and I need to remember certain things, uh, it still shows up nicely. So I like having a text box in there. You can add text to every single one, to certain plays, etc. It's very easy. Now you're seeing some lines here. Uh, we put yard lines in there for new plays. So now anytime you create a new play, it will look like this. Um, this dot right here is the center. So I would put my center in that spot just so that it aligns when I'm actually printing, uh, that it's not like off center or whatnot. So that's your center point. That's where I, I like to put that. And then any of your new plays will show up with the lines. If for some reason you wanted to add lines to your previous plays, you can. Me personally, I'm not going to. I'm okay with having some. If I created a new play, it having this, I'm okay with that. On my wristbands, it's going to look like this, right? These are five yard marks. Uh, if I wanted to recreate all my plays, I totally could. Um, there is a way to add the lines in here if you really wanted to. We now have yard lines here. You could draw them in. Personally, I am not going to do this with all of my plays, but you can come in here. It is about 575 here you see on my x axis and about you know one this is zero 100 200 300 400 500 again automatic for new plays but for my existing plays i'm not going to go in there and do it but it is an option so that's up to you um, all right so when i print here's another new feature that i wanted to show you uh, obviously you saw me show some of these new features but let's say, uh, let's say I wanted to print this out. Again, the first thing that you will have to select is 1 through 24, 25 through 48. The reason why we did this is some of our playbooks have 130, 135 plays, and we are going to do it 24 at a time. It just makes it easier to consume. So you can now pick, let's say, 1 through 24, and then when you print 1 per page, 4 per page, or wristband template, it's going to be a download for you right it's going to be a download so depending on your system it will show the download maybe you know in in a folder on your desktop or right so all you have to do is find those downloads and they look just like this so i printed these earlier this is one per page four per page right and then this is the wristband as you can see they center up 
well, I've worked a lot on this. Even though they look like this on here, right? It's like, wait, is this off center or whatnot? No, when I actually print it out, it will be centered. So that's why I have that center mark. That's why we have the lines here created for you. So you can now plug and play, build your own, customize it very easily. So just wanted to show you those features. Again, make sure you get your access plan. It's a continual monthly subscription. For, it could be six months or it could be a year. But when you grab any of the, the packages, the, the complete coach package, or you grab the, the play bundles, all of those will be in your, uh, in your account. So it'll look just like this. All right, get some this season. We'll see you out there. Take care.